Hi everyone! Today is a very special episode of Thrifted Transformations because I was contacted by a TV talk show called The Real to transform three items for their show. I had one week to transform and fit the clothing on my models, so I didn't get to film every single step along the way, but I will be talking through this video and explaining what I did. My first model is Taylor, and there's a before video of her wearing the dress that I'm going to be transforming, so I'll play it now. Hi, my name is Taylor. I found this at the thrift store for $7. I really, really love the wash of the denim. Um, it is missing a few buttons and it fits a little bit big on me, but I think it would be really cute to turn into something new. So Taylor's dress is outdated and it doesn't fit her like she said. And the first thing I thought of was transforming it into a peplum top. The first thing I'm doing is seam ripping that bottom skirt so that we can move it up to her waist later. And the top part of the dress, I'm going to cut out my bodice pieces. So here I already drafted the sweetheart shape that I want the bodice to look like and I already fit it on my model. So what I'm doing here is I'm just trying my best to use up as much space as I can because you don't want to waste any material when you're doing a project like this. So this last piece right here, the bottom part didn't have enough material there but I just went with it because I did add a little bit extra room for Taylor just in case I might need to cut some away later. Just make sure to use the most out of the material that you have. So after I cut out all the pieces out of the denim, I am now just going to sew together all the pieces. The bottom skirt part that I seam ripped away earlier, I trimmed it away. I trimmed the bottom part of the skirt away so that the peplum skirt wasn't so long. And then I used that extra scrap material that I cut off to make the straps. After I trimmed the skirt to make the straps, I sewed the rest of the skirt onto the top and I did gather it some more to fit her waist. Another thing I did was sew down the front button placket because when you're making a fitted top, the buttons look like they're going to pop open or it's lifting up. So I had to add a detachable zipper in the back. You can't wow. the house is it was missing a couple buttons. It looked like it had seen better days. But April, you reworked it, smirked it. Come on up, Taylor. Wait. Moving on to the next transformation, my model is Trisha. Hi, my name is Trisha. Um, I found this dress in my mom's closet and she doesn't want it anymore. So um, I really like the print and the material. So I was hoping that I could turn it into something really cute. For Trisha's dress, I thought I would transform it into a romper because I had a lot more material to work with. The bottom of the skirt flares out and the fabric at the bottom is kind of like scrunched up together. So I thought I would iron it so that it would stretch out the fabric a little more, make it lay flat. And it would also show off the prints a lot better because I think the print is beautiful but because the skirt was scrunched up at the bottom, you can't really see the floral design. Here I'm cutting out the short pieces and the way I laid it out is so that the darker print is on the outside of the shorts and then the busier print is in the middle. I'm doing this because I want to create a... What's it called? I'm doing it like this because I want to create a color blocked romper and by having the darker colors on the outside, it's going to contour the body more. Now I'm moving on to the top part of the dress. I'm just going to seam rip the center panel part out and replace that with the busier print. So I'm going to keep the darker print on the outside, but I'm going to cut a piece of the busier print and sew it in the middle. So that's all the footage I got for Trisha's romper, but I will explain the steps that I did next. After sewing the shorts and top together, I decided the shape of the neckline and I went with a V shape 
and then just straight across the back. For the back of the romper, I put in a center back zipper so that she can get in and out of it. And to clean up the raw edges, I started sewing a bias tape along the top. And then once I got to here, I spontaneously decided to see what it would look like if I crisscrossed it and created a choker around the neck. I really loved how that looked like, so we went with that idea. And then I also decided to use the black bias tape and clean up each of the color blocked panels. So I sewed it down the front of the panel and along the back. This really helped give it a clean and finished look. And even though some of the panel pieces didn't line up exactly, the bias tape hid all of that. Trisha, come on out here and show us how April My last model is Mina, and here's the before video of her dress. Hi, my name is Mina, and I got this dress online, but unfortunately when it came in, I didn't like how it looked on me, and it didn't fit my style, so I'm hoping that it'll be transformed into something new that'll fit my style better. So I'm sure this has happened to a lot of you guys before where you bought a dress online and when it came in, it looked nothing like how it did in the picture. The style of the dress and the material were horrible quality, so I thought I would transform it into a mini party dress. The first thing I'm doing is separating the top of the dress from the skirt and then I'm going to cut the skirt in half and take that bottom part and attach it onto the top part of the skirt so that I can create a gathered skirt. Moving on to the top part of the dress, I was really lucky that the dress had two layers of chiffon on the top, so it gave me a lot more room to work with. Cutting out the top bodice pieces, I just cut it out in a way that was going to save me the most fabric, which is why the front pieces has a center seam down the middle, which I didn't want, but I had to deal with. And for all the other pieces that I cut out, I kind of just laid them out in a way that was going to fit. So here I used the lining of the dress as a second layer for the chiffon. And I'm going to sew these two layers together so that the chiffon is easier for me to work with and it's not moving around everywhere. And since I use the lining of the dress for this part, I had to go buy some more lining material from the store for the actual lining. So towards the end of this creation, there wasn't a lot of material to work with anymore because I basically cut everything up already. So I thought I would take the bias strip that was sewn around the edges of the neckline and around the armhole and use that to create the straps. For the skirt, I decided to add a layer of stiff tulle underneath and created a pediskirt so that the skirt would be poofy because without it, it just went flat. I actually had this tulle skirt from a previous transformation item that I didn't use, so I didn't have to go out and buy any extra material. The last steps in making this dress was sewing the lining to the dress and I also crisscrossed the straps in the back. To close up the back of the dress, I sewed in a zipper. Mina, get on out here. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my videos. It's because of you guys who watch that I'm able to have opportunities like these. As always, if you want to see more thrifted transformations, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!